What's going on, Jerome? So the prevailing wisdom is the Atlanta Falcons are potentially going to trade for uh, Cricket Chicago Bears quarterback Justin Fields as they, they take Caleb Williams with the number one overall pick. And it's it's a great fit. Homecoming for Fields and him uh, with the young pieces on that offense would be dynamic in the long term. Plus, IQ would be an absolute star uh, with the Falcons. I, I, I really do. Uh, and then uh, the Vikings would bring back Kirk Cousins at a heavily discounted rate because the market isn't there because Kirk isn't getting big-time uh, average per season or a big-time uh, guarantee or big-time uh, future uh, many years guaranteed. So uh, th that's the prevailing wisdom. Fields traded to the Falcons, uh, and then Kirko Chains uh, coming on home for a, a one-year deal. May maybe two, but the second year not guaranteed. But not so fast. Not so fast, my friends. Bow God. So the NFL Combine is going on right now. Of course, what happens is even though free agency legal tampering doesn't start until March 11th, please. So all the executives, all the decision makers, all the agents are in one location and th things get talked about. And Kirk Cousins, uh, oh, by the way, if there actually is conversation between the Falcons brass and Kirk Cousins agent, is that technically tampering? Because Kirk's contract technically allegedly d doesn't uh, expire until March 13th. So he's technically a Viking right now. So we, we will take a third round pick in compensation for damages for our pain and suffering. Nah. Uh, but yeah, Kirko certainly could still be uh, alive for the Falcons and blah, 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 blah. His wife went to Georgia, Wh whatever, Wh whatever, man. But uh, so just, just you know, p picking up the, you know, the, the breadcrumbs on the trail. The, so there's info coming through from several different reporters and several different sources, which yeah, makes you think that maybe there's a little something something going on here. So uh, Paul Allen, uh, voice of the Minnesota Vikings, uh, friends with Mike Florio, that's not uh, Thermos, uh, Purple Persuasion. Are the Atlanta Falcons even interested in Kirk Cousins? Here's what PA on the mic heard at the Combine. Right before I left Indy yesterday uh, from somebody I really, really trust, I was told Atlanta prefers Cousins over Fields, and quite honestly, it's not close. So all the talk about... Hey, maybe Atlanta flips a second round pick to Chicago for Fields as opposed to uh, spending up uh, for Kirk Cousins for agency. Hmm. Uh, and what we said we're Atlanta is a very young team. I, I think that they're a ways away, but they got a lot of great young pieces there. And maybe they feel like they could pull a Detroit Lions where you have a confluence of young pieces uh, put together around a veteran quarterback. Of course, Kirk a little bit older than Jared Goof, uh, but I think it could remain the same. Hmm, we'll, we'll see. And then uh, Zach Klein, sports director uh, down in Hotlanta. Uh, this is via 92.9, the game down in Atlanta. Quote, the guys around the league are telling me the staff feels they have a great opportunity to be successful with a veteran quarterback, and the veteran quarterback on the market is Kirk Cousins. Right. So I'm just putting the tea leaves together there that, hey, if Atlanta feels like they can win the division and also they the feel like they're a quarterback away, <laughs> Raheem Morris certainly thinks so, saying that um, – yeah, if they were able to throw the ball, maybe he wouldn't be the head coach uh, of the Falcons. I think it's possible. Mm. And then Gessling. Um, you know, Gessling uh, uh, at the NFL Combine this week, here's his thoughts on Kirk Cousins, how the Atlanta Falcons do make sense pursuing him. Quote, I think Atlanta makes a lot of sense if he's going to go somewhere because Zach Robinson, the OC, comes from the Rams. Are going to be a familiar offense. They have some weapons. He has family. His wife's family is from Atlanta. Oh, I didn't hear that. Also, I, I didn't know that Antonio Gates played basketball. Mm. Uh, he spends time down there every offseason. Uh, if you're looking for a legitimate competitor, Kirk just likes Waffle House, man. Mm. Uh, if you're looking for a legitimate competitor for the Vikings for Kirk Cousins, I do think the Falcons make a lot of sense. I would expect Atlanta is probably the team that has the best chance of being alternative to the uh, Vikings for Cousins. Now, w would the Falcons be bidding against themselves, though? W would they blow Kirk away with a multi-year fully guaranteed deal when the Vikings clearly aren't going to go there. And I don't think that there's anywhere else. Maybe. Plus, here's what frustrates me. So all this talk about, hey, Kirk Cousins is going to go to the Falcons because they have weapons. They have a pair of good tackles. They have an offensive uh, uh, the offensive play caller who comes from the Sean McVay uh, tree. And also, uh, they, they play their, their home games indoors. All those are for the Vikings. Every single one of those points are for the Vikings. And also, the Vikings have better playmakers. Like, oh, ooh, but Drake London over Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison. Ah, and Van Jefferson. Great, great, great. Good, great, grand, wonderful. Mm. I, I guess the only bump would be Bajon versus Ty Chandler. Although, it's not, it's not, not a, as big of a gap as you think. Mm. Uh, then, 
so ESPN in their Fitz column, you know, did say that Kirk Cousins would fit in with the Falcons. Uh, th- this is from uh, 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 Seth Waller, I believe. Uh, the Vikings can't go on with Desmond Ritter and Taylor Heineke as their quarterbacks. They're wasting a great group of skill players that includes Drake London, Bajon Robinson, and Kyle Pitts. So how about bringing in a veteran and pairing him with their young heir apparent from the middle rounds of the draft? So I don't know, you know like Kirk and Michael Pratt, 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 or Spencer, uh, Spencer Rattler. Who knows? Uh, Cousins had a 63.2 QBR, blah, 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 blah. Uh, he had success playing for Vikings coach Kevin O'Connell, a former protege of Sean McVay. Here he could play for offensive coordinator uh, Zach Robinson, who is also a McVay protege. So, again, he succeeded in the Kevin O'Connell offense, so why not uh, play for a, a guy who's from the similar coaching tree as opposed to just staying with the Kevin O'Connell offense? Th- th- this logic does not make sense. I don't get it, man. Uh, Jeremy Fowler making the rounds at the Combine. Uh, a splash signing, according to Jeremy Fowler, would be the Falcons landing Kirk Cousins, calling them a perfect fit. Uh, I think if Cousins can get out of Minnesota, I think Atlanta jumps all over that. Uh, that'd be a perfect fit. I I don't get it, man. I don't really understand. Man, also, uh, the Patriots have over $100 million in cap space now. But I, I think it does come down to the, the Vikings and the Falcons. And I, I, I'm good either way. Because I, I know in like 99.9% chance, the Vikings will not overpay for Kirk Cousins. Like, I, I feel like the stance that the Vikings have taken with Kirk is the same this offseason as it was last, last offseason. We would love to have you back, but a one-year Band-Aid deal with this amount of money, uh, and we're not going to guarantee you multiple years because we're worried about holding the bag if your game does uh, fall off because of father time. Because you're going to be 36 coming off an Achilles, right? And if Atlanta feels like they really feels like they're a quarterback away and a veteran quarterback away, and they're okay giving Kirk two, three years guaranteed at 45, 50 million a pop. I mean, again, God bless you. It's been real. It's been fun. It has been real fun. But again, I I'm perfectly happy with however this situation plays out. Like absent, I don't know. I guess absent giving Baker Mayfield like 50 million a year. Uh, and then not drafting a quarterback, I think the Vikings cannot F this up. <laughs> Again, knocking on all the wood, famous last words, but if, if Kirk is back, I still think that they draft a quarterback uh, of the future. Uh, if Kirk is gone, obviously it puts the impetus on them to go uh, make an aggressive move. Maybe they trade in the top three. Maybe they maneuver at 11. Maybe they you know get into the back end of the first round. Either way. I'm good to go. Like, if Kirk is back, great, because I know it's going to be at a cheap rate and not guaranteed through 2025. Uh, and if if not, I mean, hard reset. Hard reset the quarterback position uh, and potentially one of the deepest quarterback classes in NFL history. I'm good to go. So, uh, if Kirk, if this is it, it's been real, it's been fun, it has been real fun. But, uh, again, all of, the, uh, all of the tea leaves and just putting together the breadcrumbs and it is starting to form a trail of, hey, Maybe the Falcons really might be interested in Kirk Cousins. But we, like we said, is this tampering? Is this tampering? Third round pick. There you go. Uh, but that's it. Uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, are the Falcons in on Kirk? Let us know. You guys know what to do. Skull production value. As I burp. Mm.